hello welcome this tutorial is what we will be making today so let's start so it looks like not less braid right you're going to start with the brick layering format of parting your hair where you have one section in between the previous two sections so i set up at the back of the head i made three sections and then when i made the next row i share that into i think five so we have row one row two and row three so just brick layer each of them you're going to see me do this until you get to the whole head okay it gets kind of tricky in the front you might need to maneuver it just a little bit a little bit a little bit it's not going to be exactly the way you make not less braid but you're going to see the slight variation you will need to have in the front to be able to make it work so when we get there i'll be back to continue explaining but for now the explanation is what i am doing Okay, I'm back. So this is where it gets slightly different. I have actually thought about it. What if I do the whole hair as if I was making not less braid and then cornrow it? Well, you will need to make this variation in the front. When we get to this part, you have to start going round round because the hair is packed up in a circle. And if you make it straight, like not less braid, it is not going to angle. I don't know. Like I tried it. I took it down and made it round i then understood why crochet <laughs> why maurice the crochet master made his own round you understand i was like when i when i made the first hair on the model i was like hmm maybe next time i'm just going to pat it exactly like not less braid and braid it well it got kind of tricky in the front and i am almost promising you that when you get to the front too for quite a minute you're going to just get confused and wonder what should go here what should go here see because the head is not flat you might encounter that quick tip don't stress it especially if you're going to add like an afro or a coily piece in the front if you're going to run into any confusion make sure it's like focus on the sides and make sure they turn out perfectly then if you're going to have hair 
over the front let the confused part be under where you're going to crochet your hair you understand so if you're making it the first one i made on the model right when i started going to get into the front like after the ears the braid started getting slanted towards the front and i didn't notice this on time so you might not really notice if you watch that video but the hair was slanting kind of to the front <laughs> so if you just from experience if you run into any confusion make sure you get the sides well the back has to be perfect the back is the easiest part and try not to add too much hair into the circle into the middle part especially if you're still going to crochet like a hair extension onto that place unless that's the look you're going for but okay in that other video i mentioned using not using too much hair extension not using too much braiding hair i found out that it looks more not lessy when you use less braiding hair when i watched Murray's Murray's video i didn't pay attention to the fact that he wasn't using too much hair extensions and i was just feeding in feeding in feeding in hair, hair extensions and it became really huge it was interfering it was interfering with the lines and it wasn't looking so not lessy again so don't use too much braiding hair it's just like making not less braid and adding so much hair at the beginning of the braid that's what is the that's the relatable <laughs> explanation of what using too much braiding hair is going to do to this hair so when we are done this is the sweet part so you're going to braid hair in row one skip row two braid in row three skip row four row four braid in row five just like that so i am braiding this first box on uh -huh, on row one the braid passes in between two boxes on row two then i braid a box on row three it passes in between two boxes on row four and i braid the box on row five you understand it how they talk so i go explain them again watch and see now when you're braiding the next row remember there is like a space in between the box one and two on row one so you're starting on row two when you start braiding the first time you start braiding from row one when you're braiding the second time you can see i start braiding from row two so braid row two pass in between two boxes on row three braid row four pass in between two boxes on row five do you understand and i am now making the third braid i would braid go back to the the bottom one right on row one and um, skip row two braid row three skip row four any row you are skipping you are passing in between two boxes braid the box on row one pass in between two boxes on row two braid the box on row three pass in between two boxes on row four then braid the box on row five don't be hung up on how many rows you have just like not less braid okay i know there's like this uniform ideal way of sectioning hair yeah you have two rows and three rows before the ears and one over the ear just like that but don't sweat it because everybody said it's not the same size um when i made it on my model okay on the one crochet master made he had row one row two was the line from over the ear i don't know just don't sweat the size or the number of rows you have if it doesn't look like this one the idea is to make your corn row that looks like not less braid so again i'm going to continue with the braid one row skip the next one braid next row just like that all the way around when you get to the point you're going to get confused a little bit don't get stuck please don't stress your pretty brain just do what you have to do there's a point you need to like it's not going to flow into braid row one skip row two you might have to pinch some hair from row from one row to just make it work do what you have to do it is not going to affect the whole hair this hair guys from when i made my mother's hair right i could not see the back of the head i don't know if it has to do with my height i cannot see no matter how she bent her head i am not able to stand in front of her and see 
what I am doing behind her head. So if you can have whoever you're braiding, like lie down on a desk, literally. Just put your, your arms on a chair in front of you and like just bend your head and sleep, have a nap. That way you can see everything because it's strange, like it made me tired of this hairstyle. And if I'm making this hair for somebody that is tall, I'm going to look for a short chair because I've made this hair twice and both times it was annoying the hell out of me. And I am not short too. I am not short, so I don't... Uh, I'm just saying, maybe seeing the hair from the back when you're standing in the front and it's not even like quick conroe. You have to be picking the, the boxes and skipping some boxes and picking some boxes and skipping some boxes. So it was just tiring. My point is if you can use a low chair, or if you know that you don't have height, climb on top chair and plait this hair. Or just have an arrangement where your client is going to like lean into her arms in front. And maybe be pressing her phone. You know like when you're in school and like you're trying to send a text message under the decks, right? You know like the idea where you bend your head and just be sneaking. Yeah, this is the right time to apply that. That was why we learned that in school. So... <sighs> Okay, you're going to do that and braid the hair the rest of the way. I am just going to let the front part play so that you will see how you will see how it goes. I'll let it play, and then after that, okay. If you want to crochet hair piece, hair extension to the hair like the one Maurice the crochet master did, or the previous video I have uploaded, you can do that. So he has a video where he he used coily hair piece like passion twist unraveled right and then he used kinky hair extension um i used passion twist on my model in the last video of this hairstyle this time around we are going to use um kinky hair extension so my assistant did that and she did this um quicker version of adding the bangs <laughs> I didn't even notice until I was watching this video like she just maneuvered it somehow added the bangs really really fast and I was like ooh I never thought of that like if you're making this hair yourself can you make this hair yourself or more people that can plait their hair from the back to the front <laughs> if I see somebody that makes this hair on herself like the kind of mad respect I have for you I don't expect someone to be able to do this on herself because I told you struggling with the the height difference was even giving me a headache okay as I was saying I'm just going to let you see how she attached the hair extension and if you like this video I hope you leave a thumbs up when you're done because guys I am breaking it down for you I am making the mistake so you don't have to make it I watch I try braid designs either the ones I'm coming up coming up with or the ones I see on the internet and then I try it, break it down. I pieces some, I pieces some, pieces some, pieces some to chewable bites, like someone feeding third glass. <laughs> so I just reduce it to like very easy portions and explain it so that I will make all the mistakes and you don't have to. You understand? Now see this hack. Let's say you actually go to a stylist and make this hair. After a while, you can take out the crochet and change the centerpiece. Like, just be changing the hairstyle like a baby girl that you are. <laughs> and be confusing them. <laughs> so this was what she did. And bang, the bangs are ready. Forget the fact that we're using brown hair on black. Mm? Just get the idea. Look at this. This you can change. It's just like putting your hair in a donut or in a bun. What do I mean by putting your hair in a donut? It's just like putting your hair in a bowl. See how fast it was and the bangs. I've never thought of actually like packing up my hair. You know when you have your hair in a bun to go out of the door. I've never thought of adding bangs like this. Like, I like this technique. <laughs> it is cool until breeze blow. When breeze blow, fine your should go open. <laughs> Oh boy, guys, I hope you like this and I hope it helps you. If you try this and you want me to see, you can tag me on Instagram, Chi Hair Diaries, same name as my YouTube channel. On TikTok, same name, Chi Hair Diaries. And I can repost it on my community tab, community tab for others to see. But this is what it looks like. This is like a minimalistic hairstyle, a minimalist hairstyle. Like this hair is so airy airy and simple and elegant and fine and bye bye bye
拜。